Hey there, everybody. How you doing? This is George, a.k.a. Agent 86. And today on the asset from Avenger Electronics, we're going to be installing FreeFlix HQ from the Avenger store. All right, once you're inside the Avenger store, you can go ahead and just navigate down here to the FreeFlix HQ icon. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and install it. All right, once the application is downloaded, you can go ahead and click install. And a few seconds later, it's going to be installed onto the unit. So now we're going to open. Say hello to your new friend. Welcome to the new entertainment hub for all your favorite movies and TV shows. Cast to your TV. Use the Chromecast button to cast your movies and TV shows to your TV screen. Download and watch offline. You can download your favorite shows and movies to watch when you're on the go or offline. Please click the button below to grant access to your storage. So I'm going to go ahead and press grant permission and then allow and go on to the next step. Never miss an episode, subscribe to your favorite shows and get real time notifications whenever new episodes are available. A powerful built in player. Enjoy your movies on the powerful video player which you can even use as your system's default player. Watch new trailers, add movies to favorites, or save them to watch later. So let's go. When you first open, it's gonna ask you if you would like to follow them on Facebook. Uh, I would say, yes, I'm in. However, for this video, I'm just gonna say later. And uh, then you should get the change log. If you just Got press it. God, it's gonna go ahead and go away. So if you slide up here to the top left, you see that we have movies, TV shows, discover, anime, live TV, WWE, TV schedule, news, watch, favorites, somewhere for your tracks, downloads, your settings, and uh, a couple share options, as well as the exit. We're going to start at movies, and as you can see, there's a large variety of movies up in this top right corner. We have a filter option. Let's go on up there now. And uh, as you can see, I can short sort the genres, the year, sort by, and I can choose to unhide adult content, and then click apply. Going back up to our menu in the top left, we're going to now go to TV shows and you're going to see, again, a pretty large assortment of TV shows. Next is the Discover, where you'll be able to discover shows that are most popular in theaters or upcoming. Next on the list is Anime. So for the anime lovers, you have a great assortment of anime flicks, including uh, some of the most popular and most recent. After anime, we have live TV. We're going to just click watch now and see what we got. I see that there's a couple options for uh, different IPTV servers. We're going to try this first one. Click on USA. You can also add to your favorites by long pressing on the channel to add it to your favorites. Let's try a couple channels and see if they work. There we go, there's some MLB. Uh, what else? NFL? Yeah, that works. Alright, so moving back. Besides Watch Now, you also have My Imports, the option to add M3U files to be able to import M3U files or download M3U files from the web and your settings, which will allow you to show or hide the adult category or remove channels from a list when they uh, fail to play. Next is WWE. So for our wrestling fans, we got a large, large section here full of not only WWE, but also some UFC uh, TV schedule. We'll let you see what's coming up next. In the news section, you're going to find some news for different movies, TV shows, and for the latest trailers. It looks like this application also supports Track, so if you have a Track account, you will be able to add that to here as well. In your settings option, you've got some uh, options for your device language, subtitle options to be able to change the size and color 
of the subtitles, as well as uh, Real De Bread and uh, Track Account Login. So altogether, I have to say that this is a pretty well put together application. I definitely will be liking them on Facebook. Uh, I request that you do the same. You can also share the application via Bluetooth. And that's pretty much going to do it for this video on FreeFlix HQ. Again, my thoughts is that this is a very well put together application with a lot of great options. And, uh, I would definitely go ahead and recommend this to anybody who's looking for a new application to watch their movies and TV shows, as well as to be able to play some of their M3U lists, as we've seen in the live section. If you got any questions, make sure that you comment below. We definitely want to hear that. Let us know what you think of FreeFlix HQ, or if there's any other great applications out there that you feel are just as good. We definitely want you to hit that red subscribe button and make sure that you turn your notifications on so you know when we put out a new video. We definitely want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We really appreciate you watching and as always have a great day.